Hello YouTubers, as promised, my Chinese MPPT charger got here. Um, I just turned this charger on using my five ocean uh, switches that I added. I also added some ANL fuses and some other fuses for the wires that come from the solar panels. I also have uh, 10 amp uh, fuses uh, in my solar panels uh, for extra protection. Um, I really didn't need this fuses since the whole circuit is protected uh, with the uh, uh, fuses I have in my solar panels. But I I uh, wired this uh, fuse holders uh, for the positive and the negative on my both uh, on both uh, solar panel banks for uh, a quick disconnect uh, system uh, so in case of a thunderstorm or something like that I just uh, take off the fuses and and this part of the wiring will be you know will not be connected to my solar panels um, uh, but anyway, here's my Chinese MPPT charger. The first thing that it asks you is uh, if it's going to be 12 volt or 24 volt. Just press uh, menu and then it asks uh, if you're sure. Uh, uh, yes, this is a 12 volt system. And there we go. It started working. It works great. Um, I already tested it. Uh, I tried to connect this uh, fan to it, but uh, the thing was, since this is connected to my uh, Insupra uh, grid time inverter, every time uh, the battery was drained a little bit, um, it went to a cycle of bulk uh, absorption and, and and float and then the, uh, when when this used uh, the current coming from the solar panel from from this um, uh, solar panel uh, bank um, this one shut down and you know it started all the, uh, uh, the whole process of the MPPT process and and you know I had some loss some uh, energy loss there so I decided I had a, an extra Xbox 360 um, uh, adapter and I saw the specs it was around 14 volts and 4 amps and this only uses uh, 1 amp uh, 2 for uh, uh, cranking and 1 uh, continuous amp uh, after it starts and I connected this to uh, see here we go a timer and I programmed the timer for the peak hours. Uh, I know this already has some fans, but uh, I prefer to use this as backup fans just in case they fail. Um, when I'm not here, I'm not going to be activating this fan. But every time I'm not here, I just let the timer. Uh, this will be the primary fan. And since I will be monitoring the system, um uh you know uh i i don't need this fan i will just uh, keep an eye on the inverter and the, and the inverter fan make sure it works um anyway i'm running them at around 50 percent so i don't think heat is going to be an issue but you know i like to take care of my equipment um uh let me show you my five ocean um oceans um uh, uh switches there uh, like the Blue Sea switches, but only another brand. Yeah. Okay. I also added A and L fuses. As you can see, this is my 80 um, amp for my Intronics. This is a uh, 300 amp for my uh, 5,000 watt inverter. That's good for around 3,600 watts. Uh, since I'll be using this inverter only for let's say probably the fridge and some lighting you know I don't have any uh, uh, anything major uh, uh, electrical you know I won't be uh, going over uh, 2000 uh, 2000 uh, watts 
uh, I changed my uh, my water heater to a gas water heater I bought on eBay uh, this is an old unit it's around two years old it's been wor working flawlessly um, uh, I converted that to natural gas uh, uh, and that's what I'm using uh, I, I used to have let's see here I used to have uh, an electrical I don't see it right now Crap. An electrical uh, water heater and it, it has made a big difference in my uh, energy consumption um, okay let's see I also added this procedure uh, blackout procedure every time we have a blackout I have to disconnect this and turn off the grid tie inverter switches uh, just to make sure that this inverter when I turn it on it doesn't um, uh, connect to my grid tie inverters um, uh, let's see I don't know uh, th that will be all uh, as you can see this is my MPVD charger is at night you won't see any amps but now I can use this two uh, solar panels I had uh, I here I have six solar panels with this and this um, uh, connected to my other two solar panels uh, to this one and as I said you know I tried running this fan out of this controller but you know um, it started you know every time the, the battery voltage because you can program it you know you can set I don't know if you're able to see this but you know you, you can set the absorb uh, voltage the float you know um, the discharge you know you can you can uh, set pretty much everything but you know it started cycling um, you know between absorb bulk and float and 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 that uh, stole all the energy from this and this started cycling so you know I think that's uh, much less efficient than just you know using an Xbox for example an Xbox 360 adapter to run this fan at any given time I want with that timer right there so I think that's a more efficient uh, way to go approach um, this fan uh, uh, operates at around 1 amp uh, 1.2 1.5 at 12 volts it's like I don't know 16 watts or something like that you know that's uh, pretty good um, you know and it, it it really works very good with this you know it, it keeps everything cool uh, as a matter of fact this fan doesn't even turn on when when this fan is on so um, that's great and in case this one fails uh, the inverters have uh, internal fans so you know uh, now I I can uh, oh and, and another thing is uh, the other reason I connected the uh, 360 adapter uh, timer uh, and and fan is that I don't have to I don't need to have the my batteries connected all the time to my um, uh, let's say to uh, you know I don't have to have my 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 uh, chargers all the time on um, you know uh, uh, stealing some uh, energy off my grid tie inverters I believe it's a more efficient approach to just turn off I don't know if you can see this okay there we go I'm gonna turn it off the number two switch there we go it's off and now I'm gonna turn on the number four switch which is my Intronix if you can see this there we go my Intronix is on there we go see you know I also um, wired this directly to my um, uh, to the panel and uh, to my uh, grid tie inverter and I can turn this is the switch for my uh, MPPT charger so everything will be uh, uh, all the time connected here and when I turn this switch on it will uh, feed my my charger the same thing with the Antronix um, this number three uh, comes from the solar panels the, the, uh, the solar panels and and transfers to my uh, Antronix all right um, I still owe you a video uh, uh, that shows this Intronix um, 
uh, this Intronics charger that came in the mail I bought it on eBay from a seller that stated that it was uh, it had only one month of use and when I got it man it was a freaking mess uh, it had a track a burnt track and a, 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 a dancing diode inside it was it was a wreck inside it was like a hurricane went through that thing uh, in there and and I was fortunate I contacted the the, the the gentleman that sells this on eBay and he said that I was lucky to bring it back I was really lucky because if you you massively short this you know it will burn that track and it will uh, cause the dial to uh, I don't know get uh, go off its place I don't know I, I, I can't even explain how that happened you know I tried to ask the gentleman that, that sold me the unit what what had happened and he was uh, kind of rude and you know uh, anyway no no need to go there um, alright guys any questions you may have um, now my batteries I just you know give them uh, I'm desulfating this battery right now uh, I do this every month uh, I do it for two days then charge it and now since uh, the batteries don't need to be feeding my chargers or getting charged from my solar panels uh, these two get all the energy from the solar panels and I only uh, charge this and maintain it once in a while since I don't, I'm not using them I just use them for blackouts and things like that a uh, case of emergencies and you know that's how I, I, I like to uh, operate this system uh, it's been working very good oh I, I also bought this logs from uh, eBay I got like 20 for six bucks or something like that uh, now the wires look uh, a little bit cleaner I know I still have a lot of uh, work to do but you know at least they have fuses now and and some uh, and some uh, uh, and I have some switches now that I can turn on and off uh, anything I want from the inverter number five is the inverter uh, see I'm gonna press the button the power button doesn't do anything and now I'm gonna press uh, switch this to one number five let's see what happens there we go so you know it's kind of neat uh, the fuses this is a 300 uh, times 12 that's good for uh, 3600 watts uh, 80 times 12 good for 900 plus watts uh, 30 times 12 this is for protecting the wire that goes to the M Chinese MPVT charger this charger has a built-in um, a fuse so it will blow if anything happens but you know I install this for protecting the wire in case of a short and I also have a hundred and fifty amp uh, that's good for almost 2000 watts which uh, this unit can do uh, uh, peak all right so you know that, that, that's what I have uh, not too much uh, not definitely not the best setup but you know it gets the job done all right guys take care god bless uh, any questions uh, uh, you can search uh, YouTube there's uh, plenty of uh, information I got almost all my info from YouTube uh, uh, or you may contact me directly if you like uh, more than willing to help uh, uh, with something that you know I've received a lot of knowledge through YouTube and 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 people can freely uh, contact me I'm not an expert or anything but I can help you out all right take care guys bye bye